back on this plane of existence. It's Sanctuary of Reality, my comic review series. Today we look at Church and State Chapter 32 in Cerebus Issue 83. Touch not the priestess. Cerebus is returned to the basement of the Sacred Wars Roach's lair, where the Countess Michelle Detton, from the beginning of the storyline, finds him and isn't surprised to see him. While the Roaches are out trying to find whoever trashed the supply room, despite the fact they were the ones who did it, she offers to make Cerebus something to eat if he helps clean it up. While doing so, she discusses President Weishaupt in great detail. She starts with his love of gardening, something we only got brief touches on during his prior appearances, really. The Countess then basically reveals her true history. She was essentially Weishaupt's platonically kept woman being groomed for something, but never sure of what. Oh, and she got her money not through marriage, but through an endowment she won from Lord Julius, who was trying to rattle Weishaupt. Long story short, Weishaupt felt she was the only person in his life whom he could truly trust, despite the fact she most often wanted very little to do with him. Why is she telling Cerebus all of this? Another issue that's just a conversation between two people. Well, one person and an aardvark, but Cerebus is basically people. I mean, he does have human parents. Unfortunately, despite that, you know, I usually love the conversation between two people issues. I didn't have much love for this issue. It's not bad. It's just, I, I don't know. It's just, it's basically an overdue eulogy for President Weishaupt, which is nice, but it's a little too late for me to really care. It should have came a few issues earlier, closer to his death, I think. There's so much else going on in the storyline now that it's like looking backwards when the story's momentum is carrying us forward. It's nicely paced, uh, beautifully drawn, and despite not much humor, still has an amusing moment or two, but the lack of plot progression, plus the fact that we're getting an uncalled for retcon of the Countess's backstory, what little of it we did know to begin with, really hurts this one to me. Which is a shame since it's actually a very well told story of unrequited love. Next time, it's dinner time. <laughs>